Now, both sides have seen early gains and losses as votes are counted in Malaysia's closely fought elections. The Election Commission says around 80% of 13 million registered voters cast ballots, a record 10 million people. The long ru ruling National Front is facing its most serious threat in decades against an opposition which has accused it of electoral fraud and vote buying. Well, let's take a look at the preliminary results that are in so far. The Barisan Nacional, or National Front Coalition, appears to have won 29 seats, while the opposition Pakatan Rakyat has 21. The rivals must each win 112 seats for a majority in the 222-seat parliament. All right, well, I'm joined from Kuala Lumpur now by Sivarasa Razia. He's a senior leader of the People's Justice Party, one of the parties in the opposition coalition. Uh, good to have you with us. It has been a, a really uh, close-fought election, but the um, uh, uh, Ibrahim Anwar seems to uh, think that he has won. Uh, yes, um, I, I think, um, uh, well, he, he, yes, he did say that, uh, although I do think it's a little early to call the exact numbers, we're still getting the results coming in, and uh, it looks very encouraging. I think we're, we're pick, picking up uh, the seats that we thought we would win, but uh, the magic number, you know, is 112 and more, and I think uh, we'll need a few more hours before we get a clear picture of that. But it does look encouraging. Um, the turnout is fantastic. It's a historic 80% turnout. And a great response to Pakatra Rai's call, you know, for a for a high turnout of voters to overcome uh, the irregularities in the role and and fraudulent uh, aspects of the role. Um, and we've done all this uh, without any access to national television or national radio or the mainstream press, which is, uh, I think, even more significant. It would be an amazing victory for your uh, opposition coalition if it wins because the ruling party has won 12 consecutive general elections. How much do you put this down to having a, a unified, solid opposition challenge? Uh, yeah, well, that's been one of the key factors. This is the first time uh, in the history of Malaysia that, uh, that the Barisan National has faced uh, such an organized opposition. The Pakatan riot is a formal coalition uh, with a clear leadership in the form of Anwar Ibrahim as the potential and next prime minister of the country. And it has also consistently presented a clear political program in the last couple of years. So people know what we stand for. And I think uh, more, uh, as well, we've run four states in the last four years. And people can also accept the track record that we have. So in that sense, I think we're presenting the most formidable challenge that the Barisan National has ever faced. And that's what now uh, appearing the results that are coming through bit by bit tonight. And uh, we hope to finish this night uh, with a majority, with a historic majority. There has been some suggestion from the opposition camp that uh, they're concerned about electoral fraud. Tell us more about your concerns. Yes, there are concerns. Uh, there are, as far as we are concerned, there's a degree of uh, fraud in the role itself. And uh, one of the aspects uh, in which it is manifested, is manifested is in the registration of foreign uh, nationals uh, to vote in Malaysia, which is illegal. And uh, possibly also having double or triple registration. In other words, one person being registered more than several times to not to, to vote more than once. So uh, these are concerns. We we fought for the introduction of indelible ink, but unfortunately the use of indelible ink today was a joke because ink that was supposed to stay on the fingers at least 10 days uh, was found to be washed off uh, within a matter of a couple of hours. So uh, there are uh, real concerns about the independence of the election commission as well in the way it has managed these issues, because we see the election commission is complicit uh, in these problems. Uh, but, you know, I think despite all that, um, the voters rose to the occasion and uh, gave us the support we needed. And, uh, well, the, the counting is going on. So, as I said, we don't have a clear picture of the final numbers yet. And we hope to do that within the next few hours. Uh, and, of course, we here at Al Jazeera will be following those results as they come in. Uh, Sivarasa Razia, thank you very much indeed for joining us.